Uh, hi everyone, Sorfany Throat Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Kid Cudi project, Enter Galactic. Singer, rapper, songwriter, producer, Mr. Kid Cudi, he is back, with a new project that is essentially a complimentary series of songs fitting with an adult animation series on Netflix. I was curious to see how this project would pan out, especially since the teasers were decent, but I'm usually skeptical of most soundtracks as I usually don't find them to stand up all that much to like a solo listen since the purpose is to complement some kind of visual or performance of some sort. But I'm actually surprised to hear Enter Galactic stands on its own pretty well. For Scott, it seems like this is a, an opportunity to hit the rewind button on things sonically and go back to a style and vibe that sits somewhere in between the first two Man on the Moon records because as fans remember with Man on the Moon 3, uh, Scott embraced a lot of the psychedelic heavy uh, Travis Scott inspired trap vibes that his music helped inspire and while it was good it didn't necessarily sound like classic Cuddy. However, Enter Galactic does and I suppose therein lies the issue because when you do something like this it is naturally going to be measured against uh, your older projects that have obviously you know forged this sound and have been sitting with fans for years. Does this thing measure up and I suppose the answer to that is yes and no. There are multiple tracks here where the vibe is certainly there. Moody, melancholy, and spacious production, the laid-back flows, and of course those classic cutty hums, which means both good and uh, bad things, at least for me. Because historically, while I do enjoy the hums, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, they can be a bit overdone sometimes. Or whatever non-verbal mouth noises Cuddy is cooking up. For example, I'm not saying the song She's Looking For Me is a bad track, but there's probably a better way that melody could have been played out uh, in the instrumental. You know the one. Wah, 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 wah. I guess he's asking why at that point, I suppose. I mean, maybe that could have been replaced with a synth or a something. There are also other tracks here where they sound like classic cutty moments, but they don't necessarily have a point at which they uh, pop off or leave a super strong impression. It's almost as if we're hearing a return to form, but one without a super clear or urgent purpose. And maybe that's most likely because these tracks are meant to just kind of, you know, be in the background and be supplemental to the animation series. But yeah, the song New Mode does bring that mystical kind of classic druggy vibe, that energy that we know from early Cuddy records. It's just kind of intoxicating for the time that it's on, and it eventually just vaporizes. I kind of feel the same about the acoustic back to Ignite the Love, too. Or the super sleepy Can't Shake Her, this being the second Ty Dolla Sign featured track on the LP. The first one is much better, and frankly was enough. There are also a few spots on this thing I remember for maybe not the best reasons, like the out-of-tune singing and super sloshy snares on the song In Love, of, like... <laughs> whatever this drum perk is. Uh, it's it's like squirting static. Definitely not pleasant at all. But there are some cuts on this thing that I will admit do have some pep in their step and, and I enjoy. The song Do What I Want, for example. Whew, this one's got some beef to it. Lots of bass, steady beat, very confident flow from Cuddy. Sticky chorus, too. It's got this infectious swagger that makes me feel like I'm going Super Saiyan! The song Can't Believe It sees Kid Cuddy stirring up some crazy chemistry with 2 chains over some production that sounds like a southern trunk knock from the dark side of the moon. There's also the playful and lighthearted Live In My Truth, where Cuddy exudes these incalculable levels of chill and just asserts himself as a guy who is his own man over these cute little string samples and what sounds like um, a murky little uh, scatted vocal loop that uh, uh, brings a lot of flavor to the cut. Also, kudos on the sentiment of the track overall. As Kid Cuddy historically has not been a guy to get uh, pulled into anything too ugly or uh, somebody else's drama, so on and so forth, that sort of seems to be the, the era he's in at this moment. And we also have the very soothing Maybe So, where Cuddy sounds stellar swimming in this wall of crisp drums and very beautiful thick strings. And I suppose the song My Drug has some epic moments as well, but I think the song's brevity ends up working against its full potential. And yeah, overall I think this uh, collection of songs for the Enter Galactic series uh, is fine. It's decent. It's cool. Again, embraces those classic well-known Cuddy aesthetics. Uh, a few bops, a few semi-flops, with Cuddy going back to such a tried-and-true sound and not really amending it too much in 
any significant way. It does feel a bit like, I don't know, a, a vanity project, like very low risk. So as a result of that very low reward, he is playing it safe here. He's playing in his wheelhouse and sounds fine doing it, but I don't know if there's too much more to add uh, to my thoughts on this record outside of that. I'm feeling a, a strong six on this one. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Kid Cudi, Intergalactic, The Forever.